So hi guys, my name's Amanda. I'm a cruise employment specialist. I worked on board cruise ships for 10 years and now, then went into cruise ship employment and recruitment and now I operate a get a life at sea.com where I help people get paid to travel. So guys, we're gonna be talking today about the three types of crew on board or the three categories of crew. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> First off, we have the officer category. Now, this often includes people in managerial or supervisory positions on board. Basically, there's sort of three areas of a ship. There's the bridge, which we call, we refer to as deck positions. There's the engine room, which we refer to as engine positions. And then we also have hotel positions, which is pretty much everyone else. Now, when we talk about officer level positions, automatically anyone who works in the deck or tech or engine room um, is automatically ranked in sort of an officer level hierarchy. But then we have also the hotel side of things. So anyone in a managerial or supervisory role will have officer level status, differing levels of officer level status. So for example, we may have the hotel director, which is sort of the very, very top um, person within the hotel management system. We have the human resources manager, the doctors, the security officers, the, the retail manager, photo manager. Again, pretty much anyone who's in a managerial or supervisory role will have some level of officer level status. And usually that means um, anywhere from a half stripe to all the way up to three stripes plus. Okay, so that's how that officer category sort of works. Now the next level that we have on board is called staff, staff category. So this includes um, crew members that are usually in front of house positions, uh, retail and gift shop, photo video, um, spa and salon, the casino, sometimes cruise activity staff. So that is what we call staff members. Although everyone on board, including officers, our crew members, we do have these three distinct levels. So we've talked about officers and then staff. And then finally, we have crew category. This includes crew members in the following departments, such as housekeeping, food and beverage, security patrolmen. And again, going from cruise line to cruise line, where you fit in this hierarchy may differ slightly, but generally speaking, most major cruise lines will have these three levels. Okay, officer, staff, and crew. And the reason that it's important to know what um, category you fit into when you're on board is it will directly affect sometimes what benefits and privileges you will be afforded when you're on board. So for example, often staff and officers on board may have certain privileges when it comes to using passenger areas. Um, and crew often will not have those, those same pr privileges. Um, often it will also affect what mess or eating area that you eat in. So for example, there's usually always an officer's mess and a staff mess and a crew mess. If you're an officer, you can eat in the officer's mess, the staff mess or the crew mess. But if you're a crew member, you can only eat in the crew mess. If you're a staff member, you can eat in the staff mess or the crew mess. So hopefully you can kind of see how that works. Um, so I'm just gonna finish up here. So, and then fourth and final, I didn't really put this in because it's sort of a different category, but we have concessions on board as well with many, many cruise lines. Concessions are hired and managed from outside the actual cruise line, and they often include departments such as art auctioneers, casino, um, entertainment sometimes, photo and video, uh, port shopping lectures, retail, spa. Um, and again, this isn't on every cruise line, but sometimes they, some cruise lines do choose to have, um, to use a concession to staff that department on board. So usually concessions um, will abide, will have to abide by all of the ship's policies and procedures, but they will be paid and dealt with outside of the realm of the ship. If you haven't already taken the quiz, please do at alifeatsea.com because it'll tell you really quick and efficiently if considering a life at sea, working on cruise ships is right for you. So yeah, check it out. So much for watching and we will see you next time.